Um, okay, students, uh, I'm going to do a few very short uh, videos uh, about the uh, individual assignment <clears throat> because I have too, too many students asking me about the same thing. So as you can see, this is the uh, marking rubric for individual assignment. And uh, there are altogether uh, five sections in particular, five sections here. So I've already mentioned to you that uh, you should have these five headers, uh, five headers in your individual assignment which you're going to submit. So section one, two, three uh, is quite straightforward. So uh, as discussed uh, during my uh, uh, lecture, uh, I would like to focus on section four. Uh, then I will do a short video on uh, section five. Section four would be the regarding the matrix table. Um, so uh, let me show you. So here, this is a sample I've been using for quite a while with you all. I think three times already or, or three times. So on this uh, column here, I have written down my score for my Bowman and Dew, four frames. Huh? This is actually the Bowman. Bowman and Dew four frame model. So structural frame, uh, HR frame, symbolic frame, political frame. This is my score, 23, uh, 16, 14, and, and um, 7. So 23 will represent, uh, I'm among the top 10%, uh, uh, those people who are very strong in the structural frame. 16 will be uh, among the lowest 25% group with this score. Uh, symbolic, 14. It means uh, I'm just uh, about average like everyone else uh, using this frame, quite high, quite moderate uh, in this frame. And political frame, I'm about, about lowest uh, 25 percent. It's quite low. <clears throat> what does the uh, the frame means? The frame means that uh, predominantly, uh, I tend to think from the structural perspective. Uh, this is how I think. This is a mental model that's in my mind. When I, for example, if I join a group of uh, workers together uh, to do some work, the first thing that comes to my mind would be what. Uh, is my role, what is my duty, what is the deadline, what should I do, uh, what responsibility do I have, uh, um, is there any guideline for me. You see, my, my the way I think would be more from this structural perspective. So if I am a person who is high in HR, for example, let's say, let's say assuming I'm high in HR. So if I join a group with this kind of a mentor uh, or mindset uh, from the HR perspective, I will be interested to know who is the people? Who are the people in the group? Uh, what are their strengths and weaknesses? Uh, uh, are they happy? Are, are they not happy? Are they satisfied? Uh, do they like me or do they don't like me? How do I uh, work well with them? You see, or not? I'm thinking about people from the HR frame, but because I'm not right, so whenever I join a group, I tend to think in terms of my duties, what are my action, what are the rules, regulation, and so on. So this will reflect how I think. Okay, this reflect how I think. I think because um, most students do not understand uh, the Bowman and Dew uh, uh, model, they don't understand what it means when I put it in a matrix like this. So first of all, the first step is to go and read the Bowman and Dew uh, article, which I went through with all the students. What does structural frame mean? What does HR frame mean? What does symbolic frame mean? And what does the political frame mean. If you understand each frame and you discover that you are a person high in HR and structural frame, it can be high in both, uh, you can be high in both, it means you can function using multiple frame. Sometimes you think like this and you can um, easily change your perspective and things from the HR perspective. So a person who has these two frames then can, can move between the frames easily, can see things from different point of view easily. But because I'm very high in the structural frame and moderately low for the rest, huh? so I tend to function on one frame only. When I encounter a problem, I'll think from this perspective. I'll see it from this point of view. When I work with others, when I join a group, for example, like just now I give the example, I tend to think from this one perspective alone. So I'm more or less, less uh, uh, more rigid. I'm more rigid. I tend to see things from one point of view only. Uh, I like certain flexibility which I need to mitigate. So this is who, this, this is uh, 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 from this uh, uh, result, it shows 
me this is how i think uh, in last week uh, lesson we were talking about the big five personality now this is who i am you see who i am this is who i am i uh, do you think uh, who i am will change easily i hope you will know by now that you don't change easily uh, who you are so um what did i put here uh, how did i arrive at uh, conscientiousness here agreeableness here openness and neuroticism i put it in a way that i want to discuss the structural frame in reference to uh, conscientiousness you say you can pick and choose it's up to you so because this is just an example i randomly choose uh, conscientiousness i just put it here and i recorded my uh, average score here my average score is considered high in fact this is my highest uh, trait characteristic eh? it means what you have to go and read the literature on this which i've given you it means that i'm a person who like to be very orderly organized i plan ahead i am i am uh, very methodical uh, i like things to to be organized so i so given that this is who i am i'm not surprised that this is how i think can you see that so that's why i purposely put the two together uh to make some relationship and uh, discuss the uh, discuss afterward so i put this here as an example to show that i am not surprised if i am this person who is highly conscientious i tend to think from the structural way from the structural perspective that see things in a very structured manner so in my discussion under 4 4.1 i put there 4.1 and then there's a 4.2 and 4.3 and 4.4 right so um maybe i stop here first i'll do uh, the next video to talk about 4.1 how i will write uh, this section here